Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The marquee tools in the toolbox allow you to select basic shapes. You can create a selection that is a rectangle, oval, or a horizontal or vertical one pixel line. To make a selection using one of these tools, you can first select the type of tool that you want to use from the toolbox. Then you just click and drag from one corner of the selection area to the other, releasing your mouse when you're finished. So let's take a moment to view all the options that we have when we make a selection using the marquee tools in the toolbox. First, start by making sure that you have the correct image layer from which you wish to make the selection selected in the Layers panel. Then, select the desired marquee tool that you want to use from the toolbox. They're all located on the same button in the upper left-hand corner over here. You can right-click on the button and then see your options. We have the rectangular marquee tool, the elliptical marquee tool, the single row, and the single column. You just left click on one to select it. Next, use the options in the options bar to specify which selection setting you wish to use. That's these four buttons right here. First we have new selection and if that's clicked then when you click and drag you're just going to create a brand new selection in your image. We also have after that add to selection. If you click that and then click and drag you'll add to your existing selection. You can also subtract from selection, click and drag, and subtract the areas there that intersect. And finally, you also have intersect with selection. So you want to make sure that the correct one that you want is selected before you make your selection. Next, we have feather and you can select a feathering option by typing in pixels the width of the border that should be feathered. Feathering softens the selection border so that it isn't clean and crisp. Now if you're using the elliptical marquee tool as we are, you can also check or uncheck the anti-alias checkbox right here. With anti-aliasing enabled, the edges of the rounded selection appear less jagged than when it's disabled. Next, select a style for the selection from the drop-down right here. Now this will only be an option for the rectangular and the elliptical marquee tools. If you select normal like we have right here, then you create the selection marquee by simply clicking and dragging as we have done, like that. And remember, if you don't like what you've done, you can go to Select and Deselect All. If you select Fixed Ratio, then you enter a desired height to width ratio in the height and width text boxes. So 1 to 5, let's say, like we have here. When you click and drag to draw the selection, the height to width ratio entered here will remain intact as you select like that. If you select fixed size, then you enter a specific size in pixels in the height and width text boxes. You won't have to click and drag to make your selection, but rather you'll just click once to create a selection of the size that you specified. So if we leave it at the 64 by 64, you would just click and it will create that selection for you. You can increase that again if we want to and click again and you'll see that it creates it based on those settings that you've entered. Now again to create the selection depending on which one you're doing such as normal you can just click and drag over the area that you want to select. Now if you hold down the shift key as you drag the marquee selection, it will draw a perfect square if using the rectangular marquee tool or a perfect circle if using the elliptical marquee tool. If you are using the single line marquee, you just click once to create a single line either horizontally or vertically. 
Now if you wish to reposition the selection after you've drawn it, you just click and drag from the center of the selection area and drag it to its new location, like that, anywhere you want, releasing it when it's in the correct place. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.